I started thinking about getting a dog about a minute before you handed him to me at Neon's on St. Patrick's Day. And I had wanted a dog for probably a year before that. <laughs> Well, I was at Neon's, our dog-friendly home, and uh, he, you handed him to me, and he buried his little tiny head <laughs> underneath my beard, and uh, that was pretty much it. And then I took a picture of, you took a picture of him, um, me holding him, and I sent it to Megan, and she was out of town. She said, is that our dog? I think I'm getting a dog. <laughs> <laughs> TC has um, just, made me happier pretty much every day. And uh, I'm still not a dog person, I'm a TC person. So, TC definitely- uh, Is spoiled. Is spoiled, and I tell people all the time, he was born outside in the dead of winter, the least I can do is give him a little bit too much food and too many bones. I cannot walk him 10 feet. And I live downtown and I can't walk him 10 feet without someone saying, what a beautiful dog. He's, he's just beautiful. And then, you know, when I'm at the dog park with him and I, I say that he was a rescue and that he had a, a tough time um, as a puppy, people just say how beautiful he is and he looks like he's, you know, a show dog. A $1,500 dog. <laughs> Do you think your initial attraction had anything to do with him looking just like you? A little bit. <laughs> He's actually gotten more red since we adopted him. He was kind of blonde when he was a puppy, and now he is almost the color <laughs> of Tom's beard. <laughs>Definitely. We had actually been to a few breeders when we were looking at dogs and none of them, you know, obviously worked out. And now that we took him and rescued him, I can't even imagine going to a breeder for a dog.